The F-35 is the iconic symbol of cutting-edge air superiority, widely recognized in military aviation. But a new stealth fighter developed outside the U.S. is gaining attention in defense circles, Turkey's TF Khan. It shares a striking resemblance to the F-35 in design and capability, with some claiming it could rival its performance. While the F-35 rules the skies today, the TF Khan is engineered for the battles of the future, boasting a unique feature that sets it apart from its American counterpart. This isn't just another fighter jet. It's the story of a nation excluded from an elite group, determined to forge its own path. So how does Turkey's TF Khan compare to the U.S. quote? SF-35? At first glance, the two jets appear similar, with sleek angular designs crafted for radar evasion. However, beneath the surface, key differences emerge. The F-35 is the product of decades of American stealth technology, with every detail from its panels to its canopy meticulously designed to minimize radar detection. The FEF-35's radar-absorbent coatings are continually refined using real-world combat data, a benefit of its extensive global operations spanning over a decade. In contrast, the TF Khan is a newer player in stealth technology. Turkish engineers have evidently drawn inspiration from the F-35, particularly in the jet's nose, canopy, and tail design. Stealth, however, goes beyond a sleek appearance. It hinges on materials and systems that minimize detection. Initial reports indicate the TF Khan incorporates composite materials and internal weapon bays to reduce its radar signature, which is encouraging. Yet stealth is not a one-time achievement. It's an ongoing battle against evolving detection technologies. What makes the TF Khan intriguing is its rumored modular design, which could allow Turkey to enhance its stealth capabilities over time potentially keeping it competitive. For now, though, the F-35 maintains a clear edge in stealth, backed by its combat-proven, battle-tested performance. But the true competition lies beyond design. It's what happens inside the cockpit that matters most. Step into the cockpit and the competition between the TF Khan and F-35 truly ignites. The F-35 is often called a flying supercomputer, where pilots don't just fly, they orchestrate the battlefield. Its array of sensors merges real-time data into a seamless intuitive display showing enemy aircraft, radar threats, and terrain through a cutting-edge helmet-mounted system that virtually lets pilots see through the jet. Turkey aims to rival this dominance with the TF Khan, embedding artificial intelligence into its avionics for real-time battlefield analysis, threat detection, and decision-making support. This isn't just forward thinking, it's bold. With Turkey's expanding defense industry, including firms like Aselsen and Havelson, this goal is within reach. However, a gap remains. The F-35's sensor fusion and battlefield connectivity are unparalleled, integrated into the Joint All-Domain Command and Control JADC2 network, linking it to satellites, ships, drones, and more. The TF Khan, still in early development, aspires to similar integration, but lacks the combat-tested reliability of its American counterpart. Turkey is pursuing a unique advantage with the TF Khan, designing it not only for human pilots, but also to command autonomous drones, loyal wingmen that enhance the pilot's situational awareness and strike capabilities. While the F-35 can coordinate with drones, the TF Khan aims to integrate this capability seamlessly from the start. Though the F-35 dominates the skies today, the TF Khan is striving for broader control over the entire aerial battlefield. This is where the TF Khan shifts from playing catch-up to redefining the game. Unlike most fifth-generation fighters that prioritize stealth and sensors, Turkey's TF Khan is built with a groundbreaking edge. It's designed to never fly solo. Its loyal wingman concept involves AI-powered autonomous drones that operate in formation with the jet, extending its range, boosting its firepower, and countering enemy threats. Imagine drones acting as robotic escorts, reconnaissance scouts, and missile platforms, 
all seamlessly integrated with the TI Tafi Khan. Turkey isn't just envisioning this, they're actively developing it. Projects like the Bayraktar Kizilelma and Anka 3 are paving the way for a manned unmanned team that communicates, adapts, and executes in real time. These drones will relay sensor data to the TFCon, coordinate strikes, and even undertake sacrificial missions if required. Compare that to the F-35. The U.S. is exploring loyal wingman drones such as the XQ-58A Valkyrie, but these remain in testing and aren't fully integrated into operations. The F-35 was designed primarily for standalone missions, with drone coordination as a secondary feature. The TF-Con, however, prioritizes this integration from the outset, reshaping the dynamics of air combat. Looking ahead, air superiority may not hinge on the best individual jet, but on the ability to command a swarm of drones. The TF-Con could be the first stealth fighter designed from the ground up to lead such a swarm. Yet, all this potential relies on one critical factor, speed and the engines propelling it through the sky. You can build the stealthiest jet with the most advanced avionics, but its performance ultimately depends on its power. Without a high-performing engine, even the most advanced jet won't dominate air combat. The F-35 is equipped with the Pratt and Whitney F-135, widely regarded as the pinnacle of fighter engines delivering over 40,000 pounds of thrust, super cruise capability, and a battle-proven record across thousands of combat hours. In contrast, the TF-Con currently relies on imported engines likely General Electric's F-110S as used in earlier F-16S. While reliable, these engines fall short of the performance needed for a true fifth-generation stealth jet, lacking super cruise and advanced thermal signature management. They suffice for prototypes, but can't compete with the F-35 in a direct dogfight. However, Turkey's ambitions extend beyond the jet itself. The TF-Con is part of a broader ecosystem with plans for a fully indigenous engine developed by Tusis Engine Industries. If successful, this would represent a significant leap, not only in military capability, but also in Turkey's pursuit of technological self-reliance. The TF-Con is not yet at its full potential, but if Turkey succeeds, it will be more than just stealthy and intelligent. It will be fast, powerful, and entirely independent. This is where the narrative takes a dramatic turn, as geopolitics come into play, making the story even more compelling. The TF-Con is not just about advanced aircraft, it's about power, self-reliance, and a political rivalry that reshaped Turkey's defense strategy. In 2019, the U.S. took a decisive step by expelling Turkey from the F-35 program, citing Turkey's purchase of the Russian S-400 missile system as a security concern. This move didn't just deny Turkey access to one of the world's most advanced jets, it sent a clear message. Comply or be sidelined. Rather than yielding, Turkey doubled down, committing to develop its own fifth-generation stealth fighter, the TF-Con, a project that symbolizes more than just a jet. It's a bold assertion of sovereignty, a rejection of reliance on foreign powers. By creating the TF-Con, Turkey is positioning itself as a potential supplier of stealth technology to nations unable to acquire the F-35 due to cost politics, or sanctions. This could reshape alliances, disrupt defense markets, and challenge Western military dominance in unforeseen ways. While the TF-Con may not yet surpass the F-35 on technical specs, its implications extend far beyond the battlefield. In the geopolitical landscape, the TF-Con has already made a significant impact. If Turkey successfully integrates loyal wingman drones, indigenous engines, and advanced battlefield AI, the F-35's dominance may face a serious challenge. The F-35 remains a battle-tested titan, unmatched in stealth, system integration, and combat experience. However, the TF-Con isn't merely imitating. It's striving to rival. Through innovation, strategic vision, and a fierce commitment to independence, Turkey is setting itself apart. 
The TFCon's drone teaming capabilities, AI-driven ambitions, and pursuit of full autonomy aren't secondary features. They're deliberate signals. They indicate that Turkey isn't just creating a fighter jet. It's forging a new future. While the TFCon may not yet surpass the F-35, it serves as a bold warning to nations dependent on foreign technology. The next global air power may not bear the stars and stripes. Now, if you like this video, check out this next video right here.